Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's all right this morning. On our prayer request today, Diane Parker is waiting for the results of a test she had. Please pray that everything's okay. Uh, simply Sharon's mother, who has been battling depression, uh, has a there. She had a therapist appointment Friday. Pray that it helped her and that she she said thanks for the prayers. Frugal Jay's son Joel can now move his fingers and feet and was able to say hi, Mom. He's been in the hospital two months now. Please continue to pray for him to get better and for the family. Gary B's son is home now after his surgery and his wife is doing better. He said thanks for the prayers. Pray for Nancy's husband, Rich. His legs and feet are still swollen and his hand got swollen some. He's going Monday for blood work. They're worried about his kidneys or liver. Pray that it isn't serious so that he's going today. Please pray for Kathy Daly. She has to have an infusion. Uh, Triple G's husband, Al, passed away. Please pray for Gail and the family. Please pray for the injured and families affected in the mass shootings in Buffalo, New York. Pray for Pray for uh, Gladys Pellegrino. Her kidneys are bad and she can't walk. Pray she gets better soon. And Lisa has canker sores in her throat and it's painful. She has mouthwash for it, but it will take one to two weeks to heal. Pray she gets better quickly. Okay. Our scripture today comes from Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against devil's, the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak words may be given to me that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Amen. Okay. All right, now the devotion is entitled The Fierce Struggle. Okay. In 1896, an explorer named Carl Ackley found himself in a remote section of Ethiopia chased by an 80-pound leopard. He remembered the leopard pouncing, trying to sink her teeth in my throat. She missed snagging his right arm with her vicious jaws. The two, the two rolled in the sand, a long, fierce struggle. Eckley weakened, and it became a question of who would give up first. Summoning his last bit of strength, Eckley was able to suffocate the big cat with his bare hands. The Apostle Paul explained how each of us who believe in Jesus will ine inevitably encounter our own fierce struggles, those places where we feel overwhelmed and are tempted to surrender. Instead, we must take our stand against the devil's schemes and stand firm. Rather than cower in fear or crumble as we recognize our weakness and vulnerability, Paul challenged us to step forward in faith remembering that we don't rely on our own courage and strength, but on God. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, he wrote, 
In the challenges we face, he's only a prayer away. Yes, we have many struggles and will never escape them by our own power or ingenuity. But God is more powerful than any enemy or evil will ever face. What fight are you or someone you love facing right now? How is God inviting you to stand firm in his strength and fight? God, the fight is real. The evil is real. I don't know what to do, but I'm trusting you and your mighty power to be with me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs, and please help the war in Ukraine to end. And Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great morning, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.